Hello, hello everyone. Guess what day it is. It is Monday and it's the last Monday of the month. <laughs> but before we get to that, you are on Tony's Witchy Arts and Crafts and I'm Tony. Hi, hello. How's everyone doing? Did you have a happy Thanksgiving? Did you stuff yourself? <laughs> and did you try any new desserts out there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, if you are brand new to my channel um, and you liked my content, thank you so much for watching me, taking the time to pop in and see what I'm doing. <laughs> I appreciate every single one of you. I also want to let you guys know that I have some other social media links in my about section, so go check those out if you're interested. All right, let's get to it. Um, like I said, this is the last uh, Monday of November, so it's the 27th and it's Masterboard, Scrappy Masterboard Monday, okay? This it was a open um, I say was, was an open collaboration between me and Silver Moon Creations. Um, and now, because it's the last Monday of November, this is technically our last master board that we're making for the year. Because now I have to... <coughs> package all my master boards that I made for her. I have to package them up and send them off to her. So in the month of December, we are supposed to take each other's master boards and make something out of them. So I'm sending mine to her and she's sending the ones that she made for me to me. And so if you guys are curious on what we are going to do with each other's master boards, you might want to hit that notification bell so you can get notified. So I will have her channel um, linked in underneath the video where it says see more, you know, in the, uh, yeah, detail, you know, area. <laughs> I will have her channel linked in the description box. And please go check out her channel. And you might want to hit her notification bell, too, so you can get notified, so you can see what she does with mine. And I'm excited because I've been making this master board book. She said she had suggested it to me, and I thought it was a wonderful idea. It, it keeps, I mean, it does make your master boards at an odd shape but it keeps them all in one book. So in case you wanted to just, you didn't want to use this whole thing, but you just wanted to use this corner for a tag, then you can cut it out and the rest of it is still hanging on. So it doesn't get shuffled around in your art room, right? But the very last page um, in this book is what I just did for November. But let's look at what I've done so far. So I kind of did like a, um, like a vintage vibe. Okay. Um, here's like a fall one. Here's another fall one. I did a lot of fall. Can you tell I love fall? <laughs> I hope she loves fall too. I think she does. Here's some Christmas. This one's more of a wintry. And then this one was just some of my random scraps I had. Um, it's kind of got, I don't know, you tell me, uh, like a mystical forest type vibe going on. You got the moon cycle here. You've got like a stone creature here. Here's another moon. There's some leaves on this page what looks like ground, you know, and let's see if I can squeeze it in. Here's a little forest back here, pumpkins, 
maybe parts of a castle here. Interesting, huh? I really liked it. Here's some uh, Halloween. You can tell that I, I played around with different shapes as well. I have a little one, but it's already packed. Um, this one was just like a more of a that elegant spooky look that I like. And here we go. Here's the last one. Can you tell what I used? Can you tell? Well, the papers that I used were all Tim Holtz. It was from the Tim Holtz collection. Um, let me see if I can pull it out here and show you. So it was this. So I try, when I have a collection, I try to keep all the scraps with that collection. And I had um, bits and pieces in here. So I was cutting um, on my scraps only. So I, I'm not cheating. <laughs> I was cutting on my scraps only. And then um, I used Tim Holtz ephemera pieces only. The only thing on here that's not Tim Holtz related was the glitter glue that I used which was from Dollar Tree. It was just some of this. I just kind of like squeezed it on and then like rubbed it. So it's just like all over. I did use, let's see. I did spray it. Cause I thought some of the colors on here were just slightly too bright. So I sprayed it like one, two, like all over, you know, cause you can see this this picture right here has some of the spray on it. So it was more of a light mist. But it was this one right here. And then I used some of these um, pearl drops throughout it. So there you go. And I did Tim Holtz because her and I, we both love Tim Holtz stuff. We really do. And so I kind of wanted to honor that on this master board. So I hope she really likes it. Yeah. See, that got sprayed too because the his little tiny labels, the red on that was a little too bright for the board that I was going for. So it got sprayed too. And I liked how it turned out. The little hand has some spray on it too. You can tell all the tags. You can see it in the tags more than you can in the paper because the paper was already distressed. But I love it. I think it turned out amazing. So, yeah. Tell me, guys, what you think. Um, so, yeah. Tune in in December and see what we're going to do with each other's master boards. Now, here's a little heads up for next year. There is going to be a collaboration between me, Silverman Creations, and Mystical Misty One, okay? I will do a video probably the day before uh, New Year's Eve, um, fully explaining that collaboration. It will be a monthly collaboration again that will happen on the last month, on the last Monday of every month. And um, we have decided that it's going to be an open collaboration, so everyone can jump in and jump out as you want to, okay? But I will um, definitely make another video before the new year uh, explaining all the details, okay? So I hope you guys had fun following along with us this year, and we all appreciate you. All right, have a beautiful day. Bye!